Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Ah. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Thank you for stopping in and joining us. It is a beautiful day. Sun's shining in my face. And we're going to have some good outboard fun here. Well, I left off in my last video with the little Cody, the little Cody Suzuki. And we're going to have to see if that thing will start up and run and if we got it squared away or whatnot. So we'll start out with that. Then I have to do it. It breaks my heart in two, but I got to do it. Uh. Gonna have to part out some engines and take them to the old scrap heap. I'm getting too many around here. The ones I'm parting out, I'll get as much good usable stuff as I can off of them. But some of the stuff that's good on them, the lower units and stuff, I just am running out of room. And I do this about every year. I gotta take several beautiful old outboards and Go throw them in the scrap heap. It breaks my heart. But that's just how it is in my neck of the woods. I can't keep them and I can't save them all as much as I'd like to. So we're going to do some of that. And not sure what else we'll get to, but we're going to at least do that. And uh, like always, you never, ever, ever know what's going to show up at this little shop. So let's get to it. say uh, it runs good it starts good shifts but if you notice there was no P coming out of it See here? That's what's left of the thermostat cover and thermostat. That goes there. And I noticed there was no water coming out of the telltale, so I stuck a little piece of wire up in there and that didn't do any good so then I thought well let me look at the thermostat I took it out and it was nothing but a bunch of rust and salt and then also with that rust and salt, white powder that you can see all in there. I had to destroy the thermostat to get it out, but I'm also just trying to get the bolts out of the thing. Um, and if you look, snap. Nah. Because if you look in here is nothing 
but white yucky powder. And when I start it, you can see there ain't no water at all coming out of there. the one for the Spirit outboard, which is a Suzuki, I ordered a 15, and it did not fit the Spirit. I had to order another one, and I think I ended up ordering an 18 horsepower Suzuki. Impeller and it fit the 20 horsepower Spirit. So I have the 15 horsepower Suzuki Impeller still brand new. So I have an Impeller, but first I'll need to take care of the broken stud and thermostat situation. And as salty as this motor is, um, I believe I will not put a thermostat back in there for a couple tanks of gas anyway. If I sell it, I'll tell whoever buys it that they need to probably run a tank of gas through there um, at least before putting a thermostat back in this thing because if that area is that corroded, I mean, when I took that, I had to take needle nose and a screwdriver and a pick to get that what was left of the thermostat out of that thing so the old salt's doing its work but other than that the little Suzuki cutie is a nice running little motor okay this is a 25 Johnson workhorse that was brought in here seized up and uh The fella said, oh, I think it might run, and donated it. Um, and I put a pretty big breaker bar on there, and I shot some penetrating fluid in there couple days ago and I ain't getting no movement out of this thing so we're gonna pop the head we're gonna pop that head like it's a pimple using a pair of pliers This engine to me smells like it was uh, burnt up. I can smell what smells like melted plastic or rubber. Okay, so I popped this old garbage radiator off here. Can you see in there? This, what I'm seeing down the throat of this thing is just screaming Davy Jones. Just a screaming Davy Jones. So, 
we're going to pop it open and we're going to look and see if I may be right on this. But yeah. Let's see if we can. Oh yeah, she's on there good. Let me find something better to smack this with. Do I got anything over here? Well, that's almost too big. Here's something. See if we can get this. Oh yeah, she's. Well, I got all the screws out. Well now. Where's my screwdriver? I think it's starting to come. You know this ain't a good sign when you can see a, a crack in that bowl. But it's not popping off. Oh yeah. Now keep in mind the fella said it, it might run. Well, I'm getting some daylight. <laughs> you see, you see what's coming out of there, folks? It's raining salt. So. There it went. Oh, I dropped the bowl. What do you think? It might, it might run. I don't think that floats adjusted just right. It might run. So says the fella. So. Well, I want to get the, uh, Transom clamps off of there, so I got to take it off of this way too tall stand in order to get at those, so I'll be back. This way, I can get at those transom clamps. <laughs> Come on. It'll be tight right up to the very end. There. Now, let's see if they're all mushroomed. Are they? Nope. Oh, I might have spoke too soon. No, they're not bad.
entire throttle shift handle um, transom clamp tilt pin fuel pump head recoil start prop whole bunch of good stuff on this one this one was submerged and went under I'll look at the uh, carbs as well Suzuki um, as you can see there, there ain't much left there but I want the shift handle off of it right here it's got a nice shift handle looks like a 12 millimeter and well, there ain't much else good on here see that carburetor it's solid white I'll be back Salty. Ain't much left to it. 25. Um, I believe I have a subscriber that might have wanted this thing. This safety interlock. If that's the one that you were talking about, I'll, I'll go ahead. I'm going to take the recoil, even though it's, it's bad. The spark plugs actually look pretty good. The coils are cracked. Uh, ain't much else left on this one, so. But I'll take this off. I think I have a subscriber that was wanting this. I'll show you a close up of it here in just a second. Let me get stuff I need to get everything off. So I ended up getting a few more parts off of that little Suzuki. Um, that garbage rate of theirs off the 35. Anyway, that's the one. No, it was a 25 as well. That's off a 25, but I got to get it apart quick because that had been submerged. 
but I was looking at that Suzuki tiller handle and uh, it looked pretty good and it came off real easy and I got one transom handle off there then off the 25 I got the salty recoil so I was able to get a few more parts off of those two which is good save them parts well that's the way it goes sometimes the old Suzuki's gonna need a little drilling and a little tapping for that T-stat cover but that ain't no big thing we can get that done um, I filmed quite a bit of that but I might show you one more time how I do it um, ain't no big thing getting them out um, other than that the little cutie runs pretty good but she won't she won't tinkle so I gotta make it tinkle so the lower unit's gonna have to come off and get us a look around and see if it uh, needs an impeller if it's spun if it's just slam wore out or who knows I don't think I've ever pulled a lower unit off that I can remember and there wasn't signs of an impeller in there now I've pulled some off that were completely uh, for the most part melted away and destroyed but there was evidence they were there stuff I had to pick out and so forth but I don't think I've ever had that where I opened a lower unit and went oh that's the problem there's no impeller in here I don't think I've ever had that but boy I've run into some strange stuff but uh so we're gonna have to drop the lower unit I got the old garbage raider it seems like dialed in pretty good it'll idle and sounds good but got a little more work to do around that t-stat and the lower unit so we'll get that here in the future uh, I was hoping it would just be a quick clean the carburetor and throw it in the tank and do a little cosmetic work on that hood and get it out there for sale but it don't work out like that sometimes so now I have a subscriber who has emailed me and I think this is what he is after <laughs> so I'm sorry and I apologize for not having your name right off the uh, top of my head I'll have I'd have to log on to my email and stuff to get it but I will send you an email um, but if you would let me email me back is this what you're wanting it's a safety interlock that catches the flywheel on about a 77 Johnson 25 Evan Rude 25 30 um, so there's a good look at it it does not appear to be broken there's a big thick washer and there's a shouldered bolt and a spring so you can pause it as necessary and if that's what you're after big bolt shouldered bolt thick fat washer spring and a chunk of plastic it does not appear to be broken or some white powdery salt right in there that'll clean up easy and if that's what you're after let me know um, I don't see a part number anywhere on here but you should be able to look and pause it and see if that's what you want if it is let me know but right now it is getting late and uh, so I've still got a little bit of room in my trailer and I got one more I think that I uh, got to dig out of the old bone pile that is pretty much stripped and uh, and then so tomorrow or the next day I'll head out <laughs> to the scrap heap and throw them on the ground so sad but anyway this one's getting a little long, and as always, that is one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.